Hello there, my name is Galen Bowen and I'm a mechanical engineer here at Springboard Biodiesel. I'm here to give you a brief demonstration of our new glycerin treatment system, which consists of our G95 glycerin demethylator and the saponifier, as well as our MC12 methanol condensing unit. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and plug these machines into power and air so that we can turn them on and show you how they work. Okay, so I've gone ahead and plugged in the electrical and air supply here to the MC12. You may have noticed I didn't plug any uh, cords or air lines into the G95. And for that matter, I also have another machine in behind me here, the BD380, biodiesel demethylator, which I'm not going to talk about today. But both this machine and the G95 share the use of this MC12 methanol condenser. And so that's why I only have to plug in power and air for this machine, and then both of these other two machines derive their air and electrical power from this one. Basically, you only have to plug in one set of cords and have one air hose. You'll see here, for instance, this is the 220 line from the G95, which plugs into the MC12, and likewise here from the BD380, it's also deriving 220 volt power from the MC12 as well. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the power on both machines and initialize the system. So our uh, machine is telling us that our initialization is complete. So I'm going to come back here to the touch screen and continue to follow the instructions on the screen there. Okay, it tells me to add the defoamer now, which is to the uh, G95 there. Here's where our defoamer goes. So I'm going to use this syringe here, which we just leave in there. I'm going to just fill it up with a dose of defoamer here. rests in there, open the valve, let it go in. If I want to speed it up a little bit, I can help it along. Or I can just let the vacuum do the work. It's very important to make sure you do add the defoamer. Uh, if you don't, will catch you and uh, let you know about it. And then I make sure to close the valve again after that goes down. Okay, so we've added the defoamer. I'm going to go ahead and press here like it tells me to. Now it wants me to add the water and hydroxide. And so since we're going to be doing a 20 to 20, about 21 gallon batch of glycerin, that calls for two doses of water and two doses of hydroxide. So we've got a total of about three kilograms of sodium hydroxide and then just about uh, six liters of water there. Before I put that in, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some goggles and some gloves just to protect my eyes and hands because obviously this is extremely costly. The lye and the water will go into this uh, door right here. 
here, right into that spot. So, yeah. And before I put them in, I'm just going to grab a little step stool so I have a little bit better angle and putting them in there I can see what's going on a little easier. I'm going to put my lie in first. Second one. Now I'll go ahead and pour in my water. And I want to make sure I don't overfill that tank, obviously. I don't want it coming over the top. So I've got just a hair under six liters. That thing holds about six liters. And I want to just make sure that I don't overfill it when I fill it up. I've also got cold water here, which is just a good idea because when you add the lye and the water together, it creates a lot of heat. So this just helps it not get so hot, by the way. press here to continue and now we're going to go ahead and add the glycerin. On the back side of this machine here we have the storage place for our transfer hose. This is just the hose to uh, connect between our G95 and in this case we're going to connect to a BioPro that has glycerin in the bottom of it. On this BioPro 380 here, we just run the reactions. We've got about 22 gallons of glycerin, roughly. So when I open these valves, draw the glycerin in out of the 380, this machine here. In this case, we have enough uh, fluid pressure in our 380 to pretty much push all the glycerin into the G95. But the G95 will also vacuum the glycerin through that hose, so we could be drawing out of a barrel or a, or a tote or any other vessel that you might have glycerin in. So our glycerin is now draining out of our BioPro and up into our G95 there. So the glycerin has just gone out of the window there, so now we've got to start keeping our eyes peeled on this uh, hose right here. We'll look for the color change to know when we're getting the biodiesel. point, all I want you to do is disconnect this hose, and I want to disconnect it with as few drips as possible. So I'm going to let a little bit of air in right here to, to purge out this line as I disconnect it so we don't have a lot of drips out of this fitting right here. There we go. 
got one drip. Likewise, let's try to get this hose to be cleared out. Close this valve. Back on, and we'll hang our hose back up. All right, so we've done adding the glycerin. It says to press here uh, when you're done. If we had run out of vacuum in that tank, we wanted to, to get a little bit more, we could have hit that add vacuum button. That would have given us an option to put a little more vacuum on that tank so we could draw in some more fluid. But that didn't, wasn't necessary. So it says it's ready now. I'm going to go ahead and press start. And so now our demethylization is in process. So this will take us about probably uh, four or five hours, given the size of this batch, uh, by the time it's all demethylated and saponified. Also, just in case I'm curious as to some of the, uh, the state of these machines here, I can press the status screen button. That will give me uh, our pressure in, in uh, absolute inches of mercury here. The, con the temperature in Fahrenheit of our condenser, as well as the temperature of our glycerin, and the pressure in absolute inches of mercury there in our glycerin tank. Something very important before you start the uh, demethylation process is to make sure you have somewhere for the methanol to go that's extracted from the glycerin. What we got here is about a 15 gallon uh, drum, and which is plenty of capacity for, uh, for a 25 gallons of glycerin. Out of 25 gallons of glycerin, you'll typically get less than 10 gallons of methanol. So, we should have plenty of capacity here. We've emptied it already, so we've got plenty of room. It's connected here securely by this hose. And this little cap has a small vent in it, so it allows the container to breathe just a bit to relieve any pressure that might build up. Okay, so now while we're waiting for the demethylation to take place, it's a good time to uh, make sure we have a place for the glycerin soap to go after it's processed. So we're going to go ahead and get our boxes ready here. These are standard 15 by 15 by 15 inch heavy duty boxes. I'm just going to go ahead and tape this up good. Okay, our uh, demethylization process is over with. It's also added the uh, soap and hydroxide in there. So now it's ready to go ahead and uh, cast this liquid uh, saponified glycerin mixture into the uh, box there underneath the G95. 
So I'm just going to go ahead. We know we've already checked that our box is there, but just so we're following the instructions, being safe, I'm going to double check. Sure enough, there's our cart with our box here, lined with a nice sturdy bag. Go ahead and press the start soap drain button then. So it's draining out the soap in there right now. And there's a sensor that'll tell us when the uh, box is full so that it'll stop draining. Okay, our first box filled up. We got a message here telling us our box is full. We need to replace it with another one before we continue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This is our uh, molten saponified glycerin and. Uh, Within a day or so, this will be a nice hard uh, block of soap. Okay, so I put a new box in there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to finish up draining out the rest of the glycerin into our second box now. And so, by the way, just checking our uh, methanol reservoir here. Um, looks like we got uh, uh, between four and five gallons of methanol out of that. Uh, 20 to 21 gallons of glycerin. And of course this methanol is not of sufficient purity to be reused in biodiesel processing immediately. We need a little bit of further refinement before you go ahead and, and reuse it to make biodiesel. Okay, so our uh, soap casting is completed. The drain's purged out and it's telling us that right here. I'm going to go ahead and reset the process. And then uh, we'll go back to operation screen. And I'm going to go back home, and then I'm going to go ahead and shut these machines down. So that was it. That's how our uh, glycerin treatment system works. The G95 glycerin demethylator and the MC12 shared condenser. Okay, so just to briefly recap then, what we've done here is we've taken about a 21-gallon slug of glycerin out of our BioPro here. And we process that using our G95 glycerin demethylator, extracting about five gallons of methanol, which has been condensed and output by our MC12 condensing unit. We've saponified all the oils and uh, in that in that glycerin, casting the soaps now into these boxes. That process took about six hours in this case. Nominally, we say the process may take up to eight hours. So. If a person wanted to run around the clock, they could actually do up to three 25-gallon batches to, per day, or a total of 75 gallons per day. We set these boxes aside and come back a day or so later, and they have solidified up nicely, and they can be thrown away now as solid waste.